All right, so I'm going to be changing out my turning signals with LED lighting. So this is it. Woo wee! I got some gloves, a little bag to put the old bulbs in. Let's go to work. All right, so I actually don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to be changing out these and making them the LED. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'll take it back to Walmart. Shucks, it's, it'll just be a loss of 14 bucks, or at least a try. So there is a ton of cutting in this video because I don't have the time to do a full thing. But I plan on taking both of these and making them clear white LED. All right, let's see if it works. All right, folks, I'm very nervous because I don't know if this is going to work. I asked the, the people at Walmart, if it doesn't work, can I bring it back? They said, sure, just have your receipt. This is the LED. I'm going to try it. Uh, all right, so this is probably the best $14 I ever spent in my life for this car. All right, so if you can see it, I'm going to see if I can get this going. That's just my sound system in the trunk. All right, so you see the little light turning on and off? All right, now I'm gonna put the signal on it to the right. Beautiful, look at that. Thing is gorgeous, it's so bright. Look at that, man, hoo hoo. All right, so all we gotta do is carefully with gloves, not touch the bulb. This is LED, I'm pretty sure I could touch the bulb and we're gonna see if we can get it back in here really quick. All right, so we're gonna turn it. All right, so it's in, and I'm going to turn this key. We're going to turn this parking. You know what, let's turn the lights on too. Let's turn the speakers down, turn the AC off, and, oh, I'll put my flashers on. I'm gonna go here, flashers. You guys get to see this thing real time. I don't know if it's, is it working? Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Look at that, guys. Okay, so I don't know if you could see it, but the one on the, on, okay, on the driver's side, it is still, this side, it's still yellow, and you can see the white over here. It is beautiful, guys. That's one of the best $14.95 I ever spent. So it's this little bulb, which I accidentally left here in the open. Turning signal, 2013 Ford Taurus SEL. And my music is still loud. And turn off my flashers. And so it says here, 3157, right? The, the thing is, when you go into the Walmart store, um, this LED is not listed for the Ford Taurus. So I was in Walmart for literally about an hour, pulling hair out of my head, trying to figure out, can this work? Now, look here if you can see it. Uh, if I can zoom in, it says 3357. 3357 is on the casing for the the for this uh, halogen. I don't know if it's called halogen, whatever. Um, for this little bulb here. All right. So there's a case with with two of these in it, and even they even have a clear case, like a clear bulb that has this setup here, but it. It has 3357. Um, now, if you read here, it says also fits. But this is the mean one, 3157. I did not find that in the book. So just a heads up, when you go to Walmart or whoever sells it, if the bulb works for 3357, you're good. LED. I got this from Walmart for 14 bucks. Oh, crap. I left this open. So we're going to put this in, and I'm going to show you guys both of them. Stand by. Can I get it to focus? Oh crap. Okay, guys, listen. When I say this is the best $14.95 I spent in a long time on my baby, look at this, guys. I have to get LED um, headlights as soon as possible. Look at this thing. OMG. All right. So, this driver's side, um, for those who have the Ford Taurus, SEL, SHO, SE, Limited, whatever, doesn't, freaking doesn't matter. Um, sorry for my language, I just got a little, um, whatever. So, coming into 
wear your um this is my gloves is torn now by the way i got burned too um coming into where your air filter is it's very tight getting in here like you gotta you gotta really get in there uh, i don't know if i could you know what okay you can see it perfect this um you have to turn it counterclockwise it's really tough you want to be gentle with it and then you pull it out and you kind of get it in now make sure when you're putting it back you level it with nine and three and then you're turning it don't overturn it to get it to go to uh, 12 and 6 it goes to maybe f 5 and uh, 11 maybe yeah somewhere around there and you're good to go and then you have LED thing I'll show you guys later on tonight what it looks like so thank you for checking out this video once again this is the Ford Taurus uh, uh, SEL 2013 um, oh let's do the flashes before we go Alright, so we got the flash that's on. Alright, so there it is. When I say this thing is bright, it's bright. Um, now, if someone can post below um, on this video, I would appreciate you and, and no homo, I love you, I would love you for this. Can someone tell me what bulb I can get to put in here? Um, the normal, uh, what you call it, the normal headlight bulb because I cannot find it. They say online it's a 9,012, 9,000, no, 9,012, and I cannot find the bulb anywhere. Um, I don't like this really stupid yellow bulb. I want either LED or some type of cool bulb. All right, once again, thanks for watching this video. You guys are awesome, man. I love YouTube. Woohoo! All right, as a, as a goodbye, I guess we'll do this. Boom. And it's pretty dark inside here, but... In a future video, if you guys want to stay tuned, I will be, <laughs> this is going to sound weird because I've never done this in my life, but I'm going to clay my car, all right? And so with, what came in this clay kit for 18 bucks from Walmart, and I think Target has it for 14 bucks. so if you love to shop around, I'd say go to Target. Um, and it comes with two of these little clay bar and it's, it's nice and soft not too soft but soft and i'm going to clay the car so what i'm going to do is uh, in the future i'm going to wash the car twice in one day not move it to get dust and then i'm going to clay the car and after i clay the car i hope i'm doing this the right way i'm going to use the ultimate compound which says color oh wait uh, sorry YouTube color and clarity restore whatever the case and my car still has this look but I believe I'm almost here and I want to bring it back to that rich red and I'm going to put the ultimate pace on with this pol six inch polisher that I got from Walmart uh, I think it was about 20 bucks uh, hopefully it's reliable and then after that I'm going to be using where is it it's in my trunk uh, I haven't taken off the gloves yet and it's probably pretty nasty, I'm sorry. Uh, let me take the gloves off. Alright, so we got both gloves off now. Um, this is the product I use, Ardex Miami Shine, on my car. And so after I do all that fancy stuff, I'll put one light coat of this on the car. Also, I, um, I use the Ardex Wash, which is really good. The new concept, uh, I use it on... The tire's very thin. Someone got this for me as a gift, so I'll use it. I'm letting you guys into my trunk. Oh, my goodness. This is um, wax as well, but I don't use that as much. This is my degreaser from Ardex. You can see that. It's called Pure Rush. And then periodically, if I'm, if I'm in a rush... No, wrong one. Yeah, if I'm in a rush, I'll use this Express, Express Shine. Um... I use this on my car on the inside. I had this for my Ford 500 carpet on the inside because it was a tan interior all around. But in my Taurus, it's a tan interior with black seats. Um, let's take a look at it right quick. Uh, the front seat is pretty dirty, sorry guys. But it's tan seat, tan entrance, and black carpet. But you have a tan here, and then you have a black finish up here, which I think is really decent. Um, yeah. 
whilst I'm at this video, let me say, guys, who have tan interiors, um, I learned the hard way, and I don't want you to learn to. See this little red mark? S maybe someone's going to comment and say, hey, use this, and I'll, I'll try it. I I'm willing to try anything. These marks here, I had receipts, um, like I still do, oh my gosh. I had receipts and papers on the front seat, and I think in the back here... Mm, where is it? Where are you? Okay, I think I got it off. But there is... No. Yeah, here it is. You can't see it too good. See these little marks here? Uh, it's not going to zoom in. Okay, see these little marks? In with my eyes, it show up really good. And I left... Uh, I threw it on the ground, but I had left this BJ's thing on the seat. I'm not blaming BJ's for it. I blame me. And it's stuck a little bit to the seat. So if you have a tan interior, guys... I love it because I can actually clean it and, and, you know, know that it's clean when it's clean. But if you have a tan interior, just make sure you always keep stuff off of the seat. All right, thanks for watching this video. That's probably the 900th time I said that. Have a great day, YouTube, and I'll see you guys soon when I do a, a cooler video.